Hello, and welcome to Where You Not Entertained. I'm Daniel. I'm Rachel. And I'm James. And we're going to be covering the second episode of Perry Mason, the HBO original. Yeah. This in one got con- interesting. In our continuing coverage. Yeah, <laughs> oh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh, yeah, it did. This one. I like this episode better than the first episode. Agreed. Um, I was kind of on the fence in the first episode. I wasn't really sure. I wasn't really sure if I would find it too interesting or, you know, how they would be able to prolong the investigation, the story, basically, for an entire eight episodes, which is what it looks like they're going to do. I'm still not convinced that that's the case. I I could see this. I could see there being two cases this season. Hmm, okay. And yeah, they, that might they, be. Because I was hoping that this would be the second half and they'd do like four cases this season. Because, I mean, Perry Mason growing up was so episodic. And I know that that was a, a situation of the times. Everything was episodic back when Perry Mason was originally aired. But um, yeah. at the same time, there's something satisfying. There's a reason why people still do it. And it's because there's something satisfying about having everything wrapped up at the end of an hour. Because life isn't like that. And in a world where we have... Game of Thrones and all of the other TV dramas that last for 10 seasons long right. or whatnot. <laughs> um, and it's this continual storyline that you have to keep in your head. Um, especially when it comes out week to week in modern times, I feel like having a little bit of episodicness to it is a good thing because it creates a satisfying ending. Um, if this is the only story this entire season, I think that my they'll have to do it very well because I'm hoping that it there's at least a couple cases. Yeah, I'm so I get the feeling that it's going to be the entire season for this one case. Yeah. Uh because I think they're going to go all the way to to trial. Okay. That's what I think. I think that I think they're going to pull maybe not so maybe they're not going to pull the original like Perry Mason trope where the innocent person is on trial and then they get the bad guy on stand and, and rattle him. I, they have to have a confession on the stand. <laughs> I feel that like is literally do. what Perry Mason like that is the thing that makes Perry Mason like definable. Right. If they don't, I, I'm going to be like, this is just 1930s lawyer, dude. Right. Oh, by yeah, the way, yeah. I think last time we did say that we were talking as though it's the 40s or 50s. This takes place in the early 30s. Uh, yeah. He was in was World War One. Yeah, this is set yeah. right after World War One. Right. Okay. I don't. I didn't recall saying that, but yeah, we might have. Oops. I, I, I'm Sorry. not sure, but yeah, I thought that <laughs> I thought that we I kind of talked about the film noir, the you know the the detective noir style of the forties and fifties and stuff uh, from like LA confidential and things. Yeah. Like that. Well, this I mean, is, it's, it takes place a couple decades before that. It's still filmed in the same manner though. Yeah. I don't think we put a date to that specifically, but, but yeah, no, uh, you are, you are correct. No. And I think this one was maybe a little bit better. There was some more sleuthing and detectively things that he did rather than just being angry and drunk. And yeah, <laughs> I some of it got a little grisly for me. I'm not okay. like super into gore, so same. I, I absolutely, I know. I thought about that when he was poking that man's face with a pencil. <laughs> I thought, yeah. oh, I bet James is loving this. <laughs> yeah, not so much. I just didn't necessarily see the full value in that, unless he was like dating the body or or something, but. I can tell you, I can't tell you the value on here because I don't want to ruin it in case anybody hasn't seen it, but right. Okay. Well, that's okay. Because I felt like me personally, I struggled just a little bit more with this episode to kind of keep up. I'm still very much on the fence about the whole Perry Mason thing. I, I think it's going to be hard to follow for a full eight episodes. It gives you the feeling that, they're going to toss so many twists and turns in here to keep it interesting that Mm -hmm. you're going to sort of lose maybe the, or maybe forget some of the older details or maybe that's just me and my 
memory doesn't last past a week. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I mean is I kind of was referencing that earlier. The fact that it's not a, a bingeable show like a Netflix show. And to right. have that kind of single story continuity across the whole season. While I, I appreciate having an overarching story like that, having the actual case, one case go across eight episodes. I, I think that it would lose some of the, the charm that they were hoping to get by calling it Perry Mason. Yes. Yeah. So far it has none of that charm. No, it has its own set. I will give it that, but you're yeah. right. It, it does not feel Perry Mason. No, and it's not bad. I just, it's not Perry Mason. I maybe right. would have titled it differently, but I'm pretty sure we touched on that last time yeah, as well. Yeah. <laughs> we did. You know, I think the, so the first, the first episode, you know, they kind of end where it, it seems like they want you to want more. And I was kind of like, I don't care. Like you've had an epiphany. Awesome. That's nice. Yeah. Um, this time I did actually, I was curious. I was like, oh, oh, it's over. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah, I I was like, damn it, the next episode's not ready yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so I, it did give me that, at least this time. Right. And I appreciate the introduction of Tatiana Mislani's character. Mm-hmm. I think she's going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. Right yeah, off the bat, you get a feeling that there's... There's going to be some big story behind her. There's something else going on. Mm-hmm. Right. So it did leave me a little, like you said, more curious for what the next step is. Yeah. It's, I think at this point I'm, I'm more interested in seeing it play out, whether it's, whether it's four episodes or eight episodes. Um, Definitely than I was in the first, you know, watching the first one. Yeah. Uh, I like that it gives us a little more background as well um, into Perry Mason. And as as we said before, I don't, you know, I don't know anything about Perry Mason lore. (laughs) If there is such a thing. But um, I I found it interesting that they included that. you know, the flashback is time and war and kind of that it kind of explains a little bit more about his character currently and how he's behaving and acting. Um, Why he's so tired and so ground down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you also get, you get a little more information about um, EB and kind of like their relationship and how well they actually know each other. It's not just a, you know, I know of you. And so we do business together every once in a while. It's not that kind of, not that kind of thing. Right. Yeah. They, they have faith in each other. They trust in each other's judgment. And Lithgow was great. Yes. Yes. yes and I, is. I agree. I think the flashback was important because it also shows you more of what kind of person he is. Yeah. Rather than letting people suffer. That's just not how he handles things. Yeah, and from the first episode, I was concerned about how morose he was. And, of course, people have a reason for being that way. Um, But if you don't show me in a piece of art, then I just assume that that's the personality. Um, But putting context to it makes it a lot more relatable and believable. Much more palatable, yeah. Yes, very much so. Yeah, and he was... He was much more, seemed to be anyway, much more put together in this episode mm-hmm. than yes. the first one. The first one, he was just like, man, you are, you're a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Why would somebody hire you to do anything? <laughs> right. This one shows you some more of his detective skills, and I definitely appreciate that. Yeah. I did have, to, I did groan a little when he was piss drunk. And laid out all the clues on the floor. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, fair enough. Well, yeah. I mean, so that is a trope, but it had to be in there somewhere. That's kind of what I was referring to when I was just like, you know, they wanted to show you the epiphany at the end. And I was like, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, it's not the way, in my opinion, not really the way to go about it. Right. 
Right. If you're Maybe tacking, do it sober. Or <laughs> That'd be a yeah. first step. Are you tacking stuff up on a wall or something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that would kind of, I don't know. I, I feel like that would kind of maybe speak to me a little more. Like you've already had pieces up and you're, you're putting some extra things up on the wall and you make a connection while you're doing that. Yeah. yeah. As, as opposed to take Rummaging. it all and spread it out on the floor. Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't know, but, that but we'll feel, see where he goes with that. Yeah. You know, well, and that we got a long way didn't to go. exist in this episode in episode two. You didn't have right. kind of that same. Eh, <laughs> yeah i am curious to see where it goes yep yeah i'm i'm happy to continue watching um i'd like them to make it more perry mason ish but um maybe I, that's a adjective but um <laughs> but at the same time i'm enjoying it for what it is regardless of what his name is right yeah i think that that's i think that might be how it needs to be watched at this point yeah. It's just it's a it's a new show. You got to forget about the Perry Mason part. Yeah, maybe Stand <laughs> 30s detective. I'll say maybe because maybe that turns around later. But as of right now, well, I think we're kind of all on the same page there. Um, yep. I'm excited to see the new episode coming out on Sunday, right? Yep. Yep. So uh, hopefully you're excited to hear our thoughts on the next episode and you're following along with us. If so, please go online, like, and subscribe and join us next time on Were You Not Entertained? <laughs> <laughs>